stylish marriage I can't afford a carriage But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle's bill or two يا جماعة ما تلاحظوا ان هذه كلها تتحرك كل هذه كلها بسم الله لا اله الا الله اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله لا 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 يا جماعة لا 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 لا, لا. ما انا ماني قادر من ريحه الكلب والله العظيم انتم اعزكم الله ف... لا اله الا الله اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق لا 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 لا, لا. والله العظيم ماني قادر من ريحه يا جماعه Came down here, doing a little cleaning, heard some giggling and laughing, came in, the energy is really heavy, I can definitely feel something looking at me, I can just feel it, you know that feeling you get when something's looking at you, I can just feel it. Going down to the basement, he's throwing me, totally throwing me, that paper's they're thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. Oh, will say Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. It went up. Hello? There's somebody up there. Hello? I feel like there's somebody down there as well. Right, I'm going. What could this dark figure be, and what might it want? Unfortunately, we never get a clear view of the entity's features, making it difficult to form any theories beyond it being a mere shadow figure. After a minute or two, the two men review the footage and spot the figure again.
Who's there? Red. Red. <laughs> Red. to a thrift store and got the worst migraine in the back room. Ay, 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 ¿qué pasa? No estoy cegando ahorita, niña. No me estoy cegando las patas. Tengo bastante sueño. La neta, la neta, ando bien estresado ahorita. Ahorita no, no te estoy atendiendo. Nope, nope, I just got touched. Nope, nope. Okay, so I'm here at work. Bro, I'm telling you, I, I, you heard that, right? I'm closing. And I'm, I'm like hearing stuff, bro. Look, you guys, it rocks. But then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, I know. I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Sick on Blue. Creepy, right? Katie, I guess I do have a ghost, bit. Get on Blue. I'm shutting the door. Tony, you saw something right here. So it's inside now. Tap it on the window out. There. Oh, yeah. Top window. Yeah. Yes. Bottom window. Bottom window. Yeah. On April 10th, 1901, an unusual experiment was conducted in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Dr. Duncan McDougall was going to prove that the human soul had mass and was therefore measurable. He conducted this experiment on six dying patients who were placed on specially made Fairbanks weight scales just prior to their deaths. The patients were selected based upon their imminent death. Two patients were suffering from tuberculosis. A total of five men and one woman were selected for this experiment. Dr. McDougall's intention was to weigh each body before and after death to determine if there were any differences noted on the precision scale. In the company of four other doctors, Dr. McDougall carefully measured the weight of his first patient prior to his death. Once the patient died, an interesting event occurred. McDougall explains. Suddenly, coincident with death, the beam end dropped with an audible stroke, hitting against the lower limiting bar and remaining there with no rebound. The loss was ascertained to be three-fourths of an ounce. What caused this weight loss? Everything was taken into account, from the air in the lungs to bodily fluids. It still could not be explained. The experiment continued on the next patient with the same results. Dr. McDougall felt he was on to something extraordinary. According to Dr. McDougall, The instant life ceased, the opposite scale pan fell with a suddenness that was astonishing, as if something had been suddenly lifted from the body. Immediately, all the usual deductions were made for physical loss of weight, and it was discovered that there was still a full ounce of weight unaccounted for. Following the experiment and consulting with the other attending physicians, it was determined that the average weight loss of each person was three quarters of an ounce. Dr. McDougall concluded that the human soul weighed 21 grams. We out here doing gang shit.
This is really creepy. Watch. The light is on in the living room. Uh, I turn off the light. Watch what happens next. On the count of three. One, two, three. A silhouette appears in front of me. 